Hello everyone, Chris Lashava with Remax Heritage Professionals and uh, we are here in uh, February, early February 2024 uh, which means our market report uh, stats for December are available. So this is our January report. Um, so I want to talk a little bit about what our numbers look like uh, to end 2023. Um, and a little bit about what we can expect potentially in 2024. Uh, so this is for Polk County, Florida. And uh, let's get into the numbers. So in December 2023, uh, Polk County experienced 1,148 closed sales. That's compared to 1,208 a year ago. Uh, a difference, a decrease of 5%. Uh, cash sales is a percentage of closed sales. 21.2% of all sales were cash sales. That's compared to 22.8% a year ago, a decrease of 7%. Median sales price, $320,000 in Polk County, uh, compared to $320,925 a year ago, a decrease of 0.3%. So essentially prices remained pretty much the same. Average sales price, 334771 That's compared to 322888 um, So the average sales price actually increased 3.7% in Polk County. Median percent of original list price, sellers received 97.5% of original list price, compared to 96.2% a year ago, an increase of 1.4%. Median time to contract, how long did it take a home to go under contract? 31 days uh, this year compared to 33 days a year ago, a decrease of 6.1%. So not much change there. Median time to sale, so this is actually the closing, 79 days compared to 83 days a year ago, a decrease of 4.8%. New pending sales, 1,041 new pending sales in Polk County compared to 1,026 a year ago, an increase of 1.5%. New listings, 1,251 new listings compared to 1,169 a year ago, an increase of 7%. Uh, pending inventory, 1,472 uh, compared to 1,552, a de decrease of 5.2%. Uh, active inventory, 4,394 compared to 3,541. Uh, so a pretty significant increase of active inventory of 24.1%. And then month supply of inventory, 3.5 month supply of inventory compared to 2.6 months supply of inventory a year ago. An increase of 34.6%. So we are approaching, uh, getting closer to a buyer's or a balanced market, um, but we are still in a seller's market. Tune in and we'll talk a little bit more about what all of these uh, numbers mean for 2023. Uh, kind of a look back and then we'll look ahead to 2024. So 2023 was, a, was an interesting year for the housing market uh, in that um, home prices overall actually increased, although it was pretty, pretty minor. Uh, so a lot of people expected home prices would go down. Um, especially with the lack of activity, but prices still continue to go up. And I think that still largely reflects our lack of inventory. Um, what was probably the most uh, interesting statistic of 2023 uh, is that uh, fewer homes were sold in 2023 than in any other year since 1993. So it had been 30 years since we saw um, that few, few number of closed sales in terms of the housing market. Um, so for some people, that's an entire lifetime. Uh, 30 years is a long time. Um, and it really just goes to show just how slow the market was. Um, but again, in, in thinking about that, the fact that prices didn't actually crash, didn't really decrease um, much, it will depend on what area of the country you're in. But as we talk locally, they really remain relatively stable, went up slightly. Um, I think it is interesting that it, that was in the context of um, the kind of the slowest activity in 30 years. 
Um, what impacted that was, was primarily mortgage rates. Um, we saw a high uh, watermark of a little over 8% for mortgage rates. Um, that really put a lot of buyers on the back burner, um, sitting on the sidelines, kind of waiting for rates to go down. Um, we did see towards the end of the year an uptick in activity as um, the mortgage rates dropped. Um, mortgage rates um, actually dropped relatively quickly. They're in the sixes now, um, probably mid sixes. Um, and so that has brought more buyers out. Um, while the Fed didn't uh, lower or raise interest rates, it kept their, the Federal Reserve rates um, consistent. Um, that's not a direct correlation on what mortgage rates will do. And uh, most of the experts in the real estate industry, and in particular in the mortgage industry, expect interest rates, mortgage interest rates, to decline throughout the course of this year. Um, maybe getting down to close to six, maybe even five and a half percent. Um, you know, for those people who are waiting for three percent interest rates, um, you, you probably aren't going to see that again in your lifetime. That was kind of a pandemic era. era. Um, maybe it was an error because um, it had to cr kind of cr created the, the inflation situation we're in. Um, but I do think six, five and a half uh, is probably realistic. And so as the rates go down, what's going to happen is more buyers are going to flood the market. And as buyers flood the market, if inventory doesn't change significantly, and there's really just not a way for it to change significantly, what's going to happen with home prices, they're going to go up. So for those of you who are trying to time the market, um, again, if we're if you're talking about a primary residence, this is the home you're going to live in, I don't think timing, trying to time the market is necessarily a great idea. I think you need to buy when you're able to buy. Um, and then just hold um, and you'll see the gains in terms of your equity in your home. Um, if you're an investor, then it's a little bit different conversation that we need to have um, as far as when's the right time to, to buy. But if you wait uh, on buying your primary residence, you're going to be facing more competition for those homes because everyone else is going to be back in the market and the bidding wars are going to come back and you're going to pay more for that home and so any savings you might have in mortgage rate you're going to lose in the price of the home whereas if you buy now while the rates are a little higher you have a little less competition you're going to get more deals on the home you're also likely to get more seller concessions so you can get assistance with closing costs when we're in a market where um, there's too many bidders for a home sellers have no incentive to give you any closing cost assistance um, or anything like that. And so you're better off buying now, paying less for the home, getting some seller concessions, um, and maybe paying a slightly higher mortgage rate. And then in a year or two, when rates do go down, go ahead and refinance, then you've sort of got the best of both worlds. Um, but like I said, if you wait, then what you're going to end up seeing is you're going to be paying more for that same house. Um, if you can even get it, um, because the, the frenzy of, you have to see the house as soon as it comes on the market and make a quick offer um, are likely to come back. Maybe not quite to the extreme of during the pandemic, um, but I think it actually could be pretty similar to that. Um, like I said, we're already seeing more buyers enter the market um, and it's only going to get more and more common as the rates decrease. Uh, so my advice is if you're thinking of buying, um, probably right now is the best time to go ahead and get started. Um, see if you can find that right property for you um, and then worry about the rate in a year or two when you can refinance. You might even be able to get the, um, the seller to do enough seller concessions to buy down the rate to something you're more comfortable with as well. So that's the advantage to, to uh, buying now. Like I said, if you wait, um, the opportunity to get seller concessions uh, is probably not going to be there. So you're going to have to come up with the closing cost yourself. Um, you're not going to get a buy down and uh, you're probably gonna pay more for that house. Um, if, uh, if you are in the market, or you just wanna kinda talk about how what's happening in the market um, relates to your unique situation and uh, what might be right for you in terms of buying or selling, um, renting, whatever, um, I'm always available. Please reach out to me, I'd love to help you. And as always, if you have friends or family looking in the Central Florida area to buy or sell, 
uh, I would love to be the realtor of choice. Uh, thanks again for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Um, I would absolutely love to have more subscribers. Um, and if there are topics you want me to cover, uh, comment below. I'd be happy to add those, uh, those videos uh, to my YouTube library. Thanks. Thanks again, everybody. Have a great day.